visible ma'am we discussed some questions of uh, linear algebra and differential equation today we will uh, see the small topic laplace transformation and uh, in this session only we will solve the questions from laplace transform uh, questions are very less so and easy so we will uh, solve questions today itself for gate Uh, there will be some more concepts that they never asked in gate but uh, it is in your syllabus so we will learn that also okay so uh, what is laplace transform as it na its name says it is just a transform so uh, what is the how how to uh, understand this thing is it's like uh, you can use laplace transform formula to transform your function into some other function uh, which would be easier to solve suppose you have some function or some equation uh, and you have to solve that equation you have to get the solution of that equation but uh, it is not easy to get solution of that equation maybe because that uh, equation is very complex so what you can do you can transform that equation into easier form so that you can easily solve that equation so laplace is a uh, one kind of transformation in which you can convert differential equation into algebraic equation and uh, it is easier to solve algebraic equation as compared to differential equation okay basically laplace transform is used in uh, control system or heat equation wave equation suppose you need to solve uh, partial uh, differential equations differential equations you can uh, easily solve it is not that tough to solve but the partial differential equation is not easy to solve like i have told you only a first order partial how to solve first order uh, partial differential equation but uh, if order will increase number of uh, dependent and independent variable will increase it would be very tough to solve Uh, such equation so what we do in that time we convert it uh, we transform it by, uh, with the help of laplace transform then we solve it and then again we transform the equation in its original form okay i hope you'll uh, get some idea of it in the uh, gate uh, the questions are uh, very easy whatever they uh, asked in laplace uh, from laplace transform so if you will learn the uh, basics of laplace transform you will be uh, able to solve the gate questions i'll show you the question uh, the level of questions are very easy itself but uh, in next session we will uh, see some other concepts related to this topic which would be more tough and they will uh, we are not sure if they'll ask in gate but it is in your syllabus so you should know about okay so Uh, let's uh, read the theory whatever i have written here like uh, a function is said to be piecewise continuous function if it has a finite number of breaks and it does not blow up into infinity anywhere let us assume that the function is ft so how you define your laplace transform how will you uh, write if you have to take if you have to transform this you have to write it like that l of ft will be laplace transform and the transform uh, whatever you will get will be the function of s it will be coming as fs suppose you have some function in t so you will convert it into algebraic form that would be uh, will be the function of s and uh, what else you will do suppose you converted this in this form then you will solve it because you it is easier to get the, uh, the solution of algebraic equation after solving it you will again take uh, laplace inverse of this and again you will get the solution of the function in t form okay this is the way laplace transform works so what is the formula uh, of uh, laplace transform which is laplace transform of function t f t is equals to f s which is zero to positive infinity f t e to the power minus s t d t. Okay, so there will be so many formulas in this chapter that you have to learn. 
there is no any other shortcut or uh, you cannot replace you just have to learn these formulas by your heart okay so this is the first one simple formula how uh, you will get a laplace transform of any function that will be zero to integration zero to infinity ft multiplied by e to the power minus st dt okay and uh, uh, let us uh, solve one question suppose uh, this type of question also they ask sometimes suppose there is a function this is a function in t this is ft okay you understood uh, x uh, uh, independent variable y dependent variable then zero 1 2 suppose this is your function and they are asking you to get a laplace transform of this function so how will you write we got 0 to infinity so here our function is existing uh, existing till 1 so we'll write 0 to 1 ft e to the power minus st dt so we'll write e to the power minus st function value is from 0 to 1 what is your function value that is Two. Okay. Then from one to infinity e to the power minus st. Here your function value. What is your ft value after two? Uh, after one. Tell me. Zero. Zero. Correct. Zero. Correct. Zero. Okay, this term will be zero. If we'll integrate this term, it will be two e to the power minus st divided by minus s zero to one. If we'll fill this, it will be minus two by s e to the power minus s e to the power zero. This will be two by five. One minus e to the power minus s. So Laplace transform of this function will be this. Again, you can see this is a function of s. So you converted this into Laplace transform. This is this will be the Laplace transform. Okay. Uh, two uh, different function that uh, you should know while uh, uh, learning Laplace transform. First is first is unit step function and can i show the previous slide sure okay yes ma'am okay first one was Impulse function or Dirac delta function. These two functions are very important. They always ask questions from either the unit step function, and if they want to give little tough question, then they will ask from Dirac delta function. Question will be very easy. So, what is a unit step function? Any function will be called as unit step function if if suppose this is the this is this is the way you write a unit step function this function will be defined as zero if t is less than a and one if t is greater than a Okay, this kind of functions are uh, uh, with, uh, required when you are uh, when you are using any uh, machine. Suppose you you are turning on machine for some time, or you are getting output as a one for some time. Then uh, after some time, uh, there is uh, there will be a piece uh, wise discontinuity. 
and then again the function is existing so in that kind of uh, system this fun uh, this kind of unit step functions are useful by using a, a unit step function you can get the solution of that kind of system okay see so how how i have written this this is your a before a when you are time t is here time when your time is less than a your function value was zero okay there is no function value then after uh, when your time is greater than a your function value is 1 this is your unit step function so uh, sometimes directly they ask you uh, the laplace transform of unit function uh, unit step function what it will be so we will solve this uh, laplace of unit function unit step function will be 0 to infinity e to power minus st u t minus a dt again what you have to do you have to uh, uh you have to make it piece wise as firstly you, you got value from 0 to 1 0 to a which is a e to the power minus st u t minus a so your uh, function value from 0 to a is 0 here So this term will be zero plus a to infinity. If t is greater than a, a to infinity, your function value is one. It will be e to the power minus st one multiplied by dt. Okay. Then you can write the plus transform of unit step function as zero plus integration of a to infinity uh, e to the power minus st 1 dt then you can write it as e to the power minus st divided by minus s a to infinity then it will be minus 1 by s 0 minus e to the power minus as then it will be a to the power Minus a s by s. Sometimes they directly ask a question. Suppose there is a, a stepwise function or unit step function. What will be the Laplace transform of that function? So this formula, if you are already learned, you can directly go through the option and you'll get the value. Few more formulas which are important, but uh, they never ask questions on that. But you should learn learn those formula which i will uh, write with respect to unit step function which are suppose your a value is 0 if your a value is 0 so your transform will be 1 by s this is first formula this is second third one suppose they are asking transform uh, laplace transform of some function which is multiplied by a unit step function then you will write it as e to the power minus as l laplace of function of t plus a okay these are some properties you can say or formulas you can say that you have to learn one more you can write fourth Multiplied by a unit step function, which is will be e to the power minus a s s s. Okay, where s s is the transform of this uh, function of your uh, s bar s bar s is equal to transform of l s. Okay, so these are three formula in which this is most important that you have to learn. Okay, any doubt till now? Okay, I assume no doubts are there. Second one is, but a uh, few more minutes it will be little boring, and we will solve the question. Uh, unit impulse function or 
freaking one is unit impulse function or or there are delta function in this they have asked one question in 2021 from this kind of function what they asked they just totally gave you the function and they asked the laplace transform they didn't ask you to solve anything they directly asked what is the laplace transform of this kind of function okay so what we'll do here what uh, uh, this function is this is a impulse function suppose you can write this function as like that this is one impulse suppose you are a, uh, you know the impulse force so in, within very uh, less time limit for very short time you will apply a very very large force that is called as impulse this function denotes uh, that kind of uh, phenomena in which uh, impulse kind of like for very very uh, minute time very little time uh, the force or uh, any other quantity that which is applied as a, which uh, which will be on y function is very large so this kind of function is called as unit impulse function or dirac delta function so suppose this point is a this point is a plus epsilon so of course and area of this uh, here also area area of this uh, bar or you can say will be one always this will be unit impulse this will be one now you know this will be one tell me what will be this height one by eight oh sorry one by t yeah this is epsilon okay one by epsilon correct so your di direct delayed function uh, function is defined as you, know, you write it is as a delta t minus a the same way we wrote a unit step function delta t minus a will be 1 by epsilon for a less than equal to t to a plus epsilon and it will be 0 otherwise so this kind of function is called as direct delta function all you have to know you have to know just what is a unit step function and what is a unit impulse function or direct delta function and what will be their laplace transform that is in your syllabus and uh, you have to learn so i will uh, directly uh, suppose uh, your uh, t is equals to a so what will be the value of this function if t is equals to a tell me 1 by epsilon uh, try again sometimes they can ask suppose they have given you this uh, they have given you this uh, function and then they ask what will be the value of this function as t is equals to a since i have uh, I, I will give you one hint the area of this uh, rectangular will always be one now tell me what will be the value of this function at t is equals to a area of this rectangle will always be 1. What is, is it saying? Suppose at t is equals to a your function will be this only. Your function will be this only. So the value, the area of your function will always be 1. So here when you are uh, when your uh, function turns to this side the area will be for this line the area will be zero, zero. 
Okay. So when you will uh, multiply, uh, what will be your height here? If uh, if epsilon is zero, what will be the height of this? Infinity. Sorry, not here. Here. Same if t is not equal to a, what will be your function? Zero. So you should learn these two also. Uh, uh, this is not a formula, but uh, you can uh, understand what I'm trying to say here. Sometimes they will ask what is the function of t at a that you can find here. Directly uh, put your uh, value zero here because epsilon is zero. Here uh, directly put the value of, of epsilon as zero. You will get the value of derived delta function. So, what is the Laplace transform of this kind of function is e to the power minus a s. Same way, the way we did for unit step function, you have to do it for the red delta function and learn it. What was uh, the uh, Laplace for uh, unit step? Anyone remember? It is e to the power minus a s by s. And this will be e to the power minus a s. Okay. So just uh, learn these two formula, and uh, when we solve the question, you'll get you'll get the feeling of uh, what the functions are actually doing with uh, Laplace transform. Okay, now mm, now now till now we have uh, seen uh, this formula. This and the second uh, second case will be uh, coming in the uh, first one also, isn't it? Uh, T now t equal to a. Uh, so th uh, that will be in the, uh, the same uh, same cases. Otherwise, that uh, you have written the. transform formula then we have seen what is unit step function what is unit inverse function and uh, this is one integration formula directly you can integrate e to the power a s into sine dx you should learn this formula uh, we haven't told you in calculus now till now we were uh, uh, one more thing that I want to tell you about till now whatever the function we learned are uh, non periodic function how to get the uh, uh, laplace transform of a periodic function that formula that uh, we have seen this formula this is for piecewise or non periodic function for suppose if they are asking you some periodic function if ft is a periodic function with period of t then Laplace transform of this function will be 1 upon 1 minus e to the power minus t s 0 to t e to the power minus s t f t d t ok so suppose we will solve one problem here Suppose there is one function which is defined as sin t 0 to t pi then 0 pi t to 2 pi. Okay. And then they are asking you what will the Laplace transform of this function. So how will you solve this? You will use the other formula. Okay. We will write this formula for both the function. Firstly, for sin t, we will write it as 1 minus 1 minus e to the power for uh, uh, period of uh, uh, sin uh, period of sin t you can write it as uh, 2 pi and uh, 0 is also you can uh, 0 function is also you can take it into periodic function. Okay. So here you can take both the period as 2 pi. 
since it is a zero function. So we will be write it as like this. Then zero to pi e to power minus f t. Here f t will be sine t d t plus pi to two pi e to the power minus s t f t d t. When you will solve this, your answer will be. If you will solve this, your answer will be one upon. One minus e to the power minus two pi s e to the power minus pi s plus one upon one plus s square. This will be your Laplace transform. So these things are not that important, but uh, you should know if they have if they will give you some this kind of function. So you should know that how to get Laplace transform of such kind of function. So till now whatever we have learned, all you have to uh, all you have to learn is the formula. So the four formulas that we saw this was all four and one more if uh, the function given function is zero just learn the formula yes okay. so some more important laplace formulas are here that uh, you should know first laplace transform of 1 is 1 by f the laplace transform of t you can consider is that e to the power 1 as 1 by s square then laplace transform of e to the power n will be n factorial divided by s n plus 1 then laplace transform of e to the power 80 1 upon s minus a sorry uh then the uh, Laplace transform of e to the power minus a t will be one upon s plus a. Then Laplace transform of sine a t will be a upon s square plus a square. Whenever then uh, and then your Laplace transform of cos a t will be s upon s square plus a square. How I learn this? Here the end is cos, so cos will be uh, start with s cos s. That Uh, that's how I learned. Uh, there will be confusion in these two formulas always. For me, how I learned it is that uh, with the cos, its ending is start with s, so it will start with s cos s. Okay. Then uh, Laplace transform of uh, sine hyperbolic a t will be a upon s square minus a square. Here it was plus. Here it will be minus. Same again, cos s upon s square minus a square. Then uh, this we have seen Laplace transform of A unit step function will be e to the power minus a s by s, and this is a Laplace transform of a direct delta function where your a is zero, it will be y. Okay, a is zero here. Then uh, again, this is for uh, uh, when your uh, function is periodic, the uh, Laplace transform of a periodic function will be one upon one minus e to the power minus p s. Okay. Then. Uh, Then there are some properties of Laplace transform. Do you want to take the screenshot? Okay. So now move on to the properties of Laplace. So suppose some function is f t whose Laplace transform is f s, and that function is, uh, and they are asking you to get the Laplace transform of a function. In which e to the power a t is multiplied by f t. Suppose any function is given like that, and you know the uh, Laplace transform of this function. So how you will get the Laplace transform of the whole function? It will be whatever the Laplace transform of f t. You have to replace s as s minus a. Okay. Then uh, again, uh, uh, what will be the Laplace transform for uh, a function in which? Uh, suppose in here the function was multiplied by e to the power a t. Here your function will be multiplied by t to the power n. So how you will get? It could be anything t to the power f t, t square multiplied by f t, or so on. So how you will write? You have to differentiate of your uh, uh, Laplace transform of this function with n number of times. Whatever the power will be here, you have to differentiate your f s. Uh, by that time, okay. 
then again this property suppose there is a function ft and uh, its laplace transform is fs then laplace transform of ft by t will be integration s to infinity fs ds suppose there is some function there is some function uh, you can uh, uh, that you multiply t, t by t and now whatever the function is uh, here on uh, uh, the side you can you know the laplace transform of this function so you can again use this property or this theorem and you can easily get the laplace transform of this whole function and uh, see uh, like in uh, here they have done uh, laplace transform of sin t by t is equals to cot inverse s they might have used this formula itself if you use this formula implied to get the laplace transform of sin t by t it will come as cot inverse s okay then uh, you will try to get a laplace transform of sin a t divided by t it will be cot inverse s by a fine suppose one last property is there suppose there is a some function like this there is some function and they are asking uh, this is in this form and they are asking you uh, to get the Laplace fun function of this form this way also you can get the transform how we use this property suppose some function is given uh, you don't know the Laplace transform of this function in this property you don't know what is the Laplace function Laplace transform of that function but you know the uh, Laplace transform of the integration of that function so you can use this property you can write that function in the integral part of other function and you can directly use this property for, to get the Laplace transform ok any doubts in that any doubts till now no ma'am ok ok now this is again very important property how we will write the uh, y dash y dash is dy by dx this is the way we solve the differential equation suppose there is some differential equation y dash plus y is equals to 5 or some function so you can write y dash as this s l y minus y function at 0 how you will write y double dash is d2y by dx2 and y triple dash will be d3y by dx3 so how you write it you will write firstly when it's uh, one time one dif one time differentiated and one time differentiated it will be just s ly minus y at 0 then your uh, double derivative is there then one more power will be increased s square ly then you will uh, one more s will come at y y function at 0 then you have to differentiate this function y dash 0 then three times your derivative same it will be s cube ly s square okay so how uh, you can just uh, read the pattern here you don't have to learn this just learn first one uh, ly dash is equals to s ly minus y at 0 and you can uh, uh, follow the pattern and write it for ly double dash and ly triple dash how you do just increase the power of s s square s1 here is s1 here will be s cube s square minus 1 and all the time minus will be there in between okay this is the way you can learn so all the uh, those properties that i have shown you and the formulas that i have shown you that you have to learn okay you just cannot skip these formulas because these formulas are very important and they last question on it then uh, uh, this is to uh, initial this is initial value theorem this is final value theorem sometimes they uh, directly give the question suppose uh, they will give you the, uh, one function whose laplace transform is fs then you, they will ask you what will be the limit t tends to zero of that function or suppose you are not able to calculate the limit of this function it is not easy to calculate the uh, uh, limit of this function then what you can do you can uh, convert uh, this one into this form 
suppose you know the Laplace transform of this function, which is easier, you convert this in this form and then you apply the limit, the value will be same. This is the initial value theorem and this is the Cardinal value theorem. When t is tends to 0, uh, what is your initial boundary condition? When your t will be 0. That is that uh, kind of condition we call as initial value uh, problem and this is when your uh, t tends to infinity that will be your final value theorem. So this is the way if li limit is given you have to follow this property. If a differential equation is given you have to follow this property. Then uh, if uh, multiplication of e to the power is given or algebraic of t or t, if t to the power is given, then you have to use this property. If any um, uh, integration kind of thing is given or divide by t is given, then you have to use these two, uh, these three properties. Okay, uh, as you will practice some question on the, this topic, you will uh, automatically learn these properties. Here it is, uh, you can feel that there are many numbers of formulas. But uh, as soon as uh, you will practice the question, you will learn all these properties. Okay. So now we will solve, we will practice some questions one by one, and then we'll uh, look the big questions. Okay. So what I suggest you also try to solve the question with me so that you can uh, practice these properties and learn these properties. So first question. plus 1 divide by s n plus 1 which will be 1 minus 1 by 2 will be s to the power 1 by 2 it will be root pi by root s will be root pi by s it so will be in fraction let's see one problem in which it is not in fra fraction and one more uh, value theorem you can follow l trans laplace transform of e to the power 3t multiplied by t to the power 5. How to solve this? Firstly, uh, we will get the Laplace transform of t to the power 5. It will be n factorial divided by s to the power n plus 1. That is 5 plus 1. It will be 120 divided by s to the power 6. So how you will get the Laplace transform of e to the power 3t? multiplied by t to the power 5 what was the property it will be fs you have to put uh, uh, in, in the function of fs as f s minus a so this is your fs what you have to get the this is your fs which is the laplace transform of this the laplace transform of e to the power 3t t to the power 5 will be f s minus a. Now put s minus a at the space of f. This will be your answer. Okay. Now uh, solve this question and tell me the answer. Uh, this was question 3. Question 4. Solve this question. Laplace transform of e to the power 2t cos 4t solve this question it will be you know the Laplace transform of cos 40 cos hai so either s hoga divide by s square plus 4 square that would be 16 then this is uh, 
your Laplace transform of cos 4t then Laplace transform of e to the power 2t cos 4t will be f of s minus 2 in the on the place of s you have to put s minus 2 divided by s minus 2 whole square plus 16 this will be your answer this kind of questions are very famous and gauge whenever they ask they ask such question they will give you any simple function normal function like cosine sine any simple function whose Laplace transform you already know that function will be multiplied by e to the some power all you have to do you have to use this theorem or this property and you have to get the uh, or you say Laplace transform of this function okay uh, and how is the second question will be solved? Uh, this one? LT 1 by 2. Not the previous. <coughs> yes. Again, same same thing we have to do the way we have done. Since this is not uh, that first formula that we have written, that is for positive and non fractional. This is for negative and fractional one. If your power is in fractions, and you have to use the above formula itself and you will write it as 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by uh, it will be s 3 by 2 uh, if you, you all know all the properties of this function right you can write it like this divide by s 3 by 2 it will be 1 by 2 root pi divide by s 3 by 2 this this property what property I have used here n plus 1 will be n root n ok understood yes ma'am so any doubts till now? Ma'am, what is that function? Uh, root type function. I actually don't remember the name of this function, but uh, you have to learn the few properties of that function. Anyone, anyone, anyone here who does remember the? With the gamma function. that you have to learn from the gamma function first gamma function of 1 by 2 is equal to root pi then gamma function of n plus 1 will be n what else I have to say n gamma function of n ok these two property you learn Yes, line, man. Okay, man. Okay. So when it is in multiplication of t or two to the t to the power n, what you have to do, you have to differentiate the Laplace transform of this function. So Laplace transform of a t will be a divided by s square plus a square here it is t to the power n then you have to write minus 1 to the power 1 d ds of a s square plus a square ok it will be minus 1 a will be outside it will be minus 1 s square plus a square whole square multiplied by 2s so your answer will be 2as divided by s square plus a square to the power 2 ok one more we will solve of this kind suppose they are asking the Laplace transform of t to t square sin 2t 
if you know the Laplace transform of sin 2t which will be 2 divided by h square plus 4 ok so here the power is 2 that means you have to minus 1 to the power 2 d2 ds2 of 2 h square plus 4 then it will be 2 dds of minus 1 multiplied by 2 is divided by s square plus 4 to the whole square again you have to differentiate this and this will be very long if you def differentiate this one you will get the answer the answer will be 12 s square minus 16 divided by s square plus 4 to the power whole cube ok so uh, till now what we did uh, we are uh, doing quotient for these properties so we I have showed you two types of quotient one property the per one and property number two so I will see the other properties uh, ma'am I have one problem mm -hmm. uh, yes ma'am uh, the question is Laplace sin h t upon 2 sin root 3 by 2 uh, sin h t by 2 sin root 3 by 2 Yes, ma'am. solve this question by two ways firstly you write sin 3 by 2 in terms of e to the power sub x uh, you know na, that e to the power uh, you can write it uh, e to the power i a t is equals to sin a t plus sorry cos i sin a t something like that so you can convert this in terms of e to the power something when you will convert this in e to the power something you already know the uh, Laplace transform of sin hyperbolic function then again you can use the property of e to the power understood uh, ma'am uh, when we convert into in uh, e to the power minus e to the power i a t when you write here so ma'am here uh, we can uh, take minus or plus Equal. Um, as is there, uh, okay. Um, there. Okay. double dash plus 4y is equals to 12t in some initial value boundary condition are given y at 0 is 0 and y dash at 0 will be 9 and then they are asking you to solve this uh, differential equation so how to solve this uh, differential equation you can use Laplace transform that property we have seen you can write your y double dash as s square l f t minus s f 0 minus f dash 0 what we are doing we are taking laplace transform from both sides okay we are taking laplace transform from both sides then 
it will be 12 LT now you can write it as S square LY S square LY minus S Y at 0 minus Y dash at 0 plus 4 It was 4 L by 4 L Y will be 12 L T. So this equation we can write it as like that after taking the Laplace transform of both sides. Okay. Then it will be if you will solve this, if you will solve this, you will put the value of y dash at 0, which is 9, y0 at uh, y0 at 0 is 0. So write it s square l by my uh, minus 9 plus 4 l by 12 dot l t uh, l of uh, Laplace transform of t will be 1 upon s square ok and you will solve this your l y will be 12 plus 9 s square divided by s square s square plus 4 so what is the method to uh, solve the differential equation first cut, uh, take Laplace and transform your differential equation in an algebraic equation then take inverse Laplace and convert your uh, solution into uh, uh, solution into algebraic form ok so now we got that your Laplace transform of y is 12 plus 9 s square divided by s square into s square plus 4 we will take Laplace inverse on both sides So it will be y l inverse 12 plus uh, 9 s square ok one more thing that you need to uh, 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 which is prerequisite before Laplace transform is partial fractions you all uh, know about partial fractions right and you all can uh, convert this into uh, partial fraction this fraction you can convert it in pa partial form right that is your 12 plus 9 s square divided by s square s square plus 4 when you can convert in partial fraction which will be something like that you all know how to solve a partial fraction right how to convert it in partial fraction hello yes sir ok we can take a class on that if you don't know but that is not uh, much required because as you have seen the if, uh, equation is very lengthy the question is very lengthy again they don't ask such lengthy questions now the Laplace inverse of this will be 3 this will be Laplace inverse of 1 by s square is t then again uh, if you will take 3 outside this will be Laplace, in, uh, Laplace transform of sin 2t. So this will be your solution of that differential equation. Ok, this kind of big question we will solve later, maybe tomorrow. Today uh, we are going to solve the gate question. Ok, so whatever uh, I guess uh, there are uh, 16 questions that from 2003 to 2022. Let us solve this question and uh, whatever the lengthy work and what is the tough work of this uh, chapter that we will see tomorrow ok ok so all this question in this question what they are asking they are asking inverse Laplace transform s square plus s of this function ok whenever uh, your function is in s form that is that is that means it is a Laplace transform of something 
then again you can use partial fraction and write it your function 1 by s s plus 1 you can write it as 1 by s minus 1 upon s plus 1 then you can apply uh, inverse so l inverse yes tell me the answer L sorry L C option this question this is only a uh, property based tell me B. you use the chat box and tell me the answer all of you solve this question this is again a property based question This is a what they have given. Give a, they have given a unit step function. B correct. Okay, this is just a property. E, uh, what is the Laplace transform of a unit step function? That is e to the power minus a s by s. Solve this one. This is again one property here that we have seen. last week questions okay yeah a is correct answer okay i will check again uh, who asked that question ashwin i will check that again and uh, check uh, after uh, today's session and about the uh, video lectures uh, i have uploaded all the lectures from my side uh, when uh, if still you are not getting those lectures then I will give you my Google Drive link. Uh, you can access those lectures from there. Okay. This is also a property based question. Your op option A is correct. Solve this question. Okay, solve this question. Here, this is a second order differential equation. Write it. Take a Laplace transform of both sides. It will be S square L FT minus S. end of the session okay minus f dash 0 plus l f t will be it is equals to 0 then they have given two boundary condition f 0 at 0 is 0 f dash 0 is 4 you can write it as s square l function of t this term is 0 this term is minus 4 plus l 0 you can write it as l function of t multiplied by s square plus 1 is equal to 4 from here you can write your Laplace transform of function t will be 4 divided by s square plus 1. Okay. So which answer, which option is matching? C. Any doubt in this question? So 
from the previous year you will feel that they ask uh, easy questions from this chapter but since uh, whole syllabus is in uh, your syllabus fast you you should learn all the concept and properties any doubt in this question okay solve this question this we did just now i guess some some question like this we just did so all this question tell me the answer use the chat box Option D. Yeah, option D is correct. So uh, we have already solved this question, I guess. What you have to do, you know the Laplace transform of cos 4t. It will be s upon s square plus 16. We are asking you the Laplace transform of e to the power minus 2t cos 4t. What you have to do, you have to put s as s minus a. Here your a is minus two, so it will be s plus a, s plus two divided by s plus two whole square plus sixteen. Solve this question. Solve this question. This function is from zero to one. The value of the function is two e to the power minus s t d t. We'll integrate this. It will be two will be outside. Minus e to the power minus s t divided by s. Where it will be plus one by s. Then it will be two one minus e to the power. Minus s divided by s. So our option C is correct. Yeah, Manish answered C. This question we missed, right? Solve this question. The formula is used for unit step and. Man, can you go to previous slide? Uh, which one? This one. Or this one. This one, man. Okay. Which one? The four impulse impulse. See uh, this formula. Laplace transform of any function is zero to infinity. 
f t e to the power minus s t t to the s t d t. This is a global formula. Uh, whenever they will ask you to get the Laplace transform of any function, this formula you should remember. Whatever the other formulas that we got, like Laplace transform um, of cos omega t or sin omega t or 1 by t, we all solve the we all get those formula from this formula only we directly solved and we are directly learning those small formulas for uh, to get uh, your solution in easy way okay this is the global global formula this formula you should learn whenever they'll ask you to get the laplace transform of any function this is the way you'll get the laplace transform okay solve this question Tell me the answer. Periodic formula. See, uh, there will be two types of transform. One is for periodic, one is for non-periodic. So this formula is for piecewise function, which is non. It, it can be periodic also. Piecewise can be periodic also, and that is what uh, that is the uh, that formula is for some function whose uh, period is known by you which you know definitely is periodic and continuous ok tell me the answer of this question So here you can write your e to the power b, b is correct as cos 5t plus i sin 5t, mm, you know the Laplace transform of cos 5t that is s, s square plus 5 square 25 plus i will be here 5, sorry. 5 divided by s square plus 25 it will be s plus 5i divided by s square plus 25 uh, option b is correct uh, this is again a formula itself tell me the answer b C or B both No, why not C? Yeah, B and C both are same only. Maybe uh, some misprint is there from where I copied this question because B and C both are same, so both are correct. Okay. Solve this one. Any property you will leave, use multiplied by e to the power something or multiplied by 2, any property you will use, you will get the same answer for this. But since Laplace transform of t is 1 upon s square and by the shifting rule we can write Laplace transform of e to the power t multiplied by t will be 1 upon s minus a s minus 1 whole square. So your answer will be b.
Any doubts in this question? No, ma'am. Okay. Now solve this question. See, uh, the global formula that is uh, that we have seen that is for all the functions but if there is some function that you know is periodic and you know its period that is like sine cos then you will use the periodic function formula if the value is existing at any f then you you can use your global formula but in periodic function it is the function is repeating after some period that is why we are dividing that uh, with 1 minus e to the power minus st so suppose some function is given and you know it's periodic then you can use your periodic formula your general formula is for both periodic or aperiodic Basically, your transform, like Laplace transform is basically used for periodic ones. Your Fourier transform is for both periodic as well as aperiodic or non-periodic. But suppose if they are uh, giving you, in gate they will not ask you, but in engineering service sometimes they give you some periodic function and then they ask you to get the Laplace transform of that function then you have to use the periodic formula we will provide you that the function or the signal is repeating in some period then you will use the periodic formula otherwise like any other uh, like other uh, function that we have solved they are uh, like unit step function the function value is in between some limit so for that you directly use the global formula that much I know about this. Ma'am, may we show the periodic formula, ma'am, since I was not in the middle of starting. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, only a uh, few questions are left. Can you wait for that? Oh, no, okay, ma'am. Ma'am, it's got one hour, ma'am. solve this question so your Laplace transform of t square will be 2 factorial that is 2 divided by s cube so Laplace transform of 2 t square will be 4 by s cube then Laplace transform of e to the power minus 2 t 2 t square will be 4 divided by s minus a here it is minus 1 and s plus 1 whole cube so this will be your fs what is it asking they are asking f1 so we will put f as s as 1 sorry it will be 4 divided by 2 cube 4 divided by 8 it will be 0.5 i think maybe you forgot this 2 that is why your answer is coming up Okay, any doubts in this question? Okay, solve this question. This is again inverse Laplace transform. So your Laplace transform is one upon s square plus w square this is your fs they are asking the value of ft so we know that the laplace transform of cos omega t is s divided by s square plus omega square and sine omega t is 
omega divided by h square plus omega square so either it will be 1 by omega sin omega t or it will be 1 by s cos omega t so here only this option is uh, given that 1 by omega t sin omega t so our option d will be correct understood this any doubts in this question oh, someone wrote d correct Okay, solve this question. We solved this kind of one question in class just now. What happened today? You guys are not answering. Yes, B. solve this question do you want me to solve this question please solve me ok so you can write this as this is your y double dash minus y is equal to 1 ok so you can write your y double dash as s uh, firstly what we are doing we are taking laplace both sides laplace transform then you can write it as laplace transform of y double dash as S square Y minus S Y at zero minus Y dash zero and Laplace transform of Y is equals to Laplace transform of one is one by S. Then you can write it as uh, we'll take common L y it will be s square minus 1 then y 0 where is the value of y 0 y 0 and y dash 0 both are 0 it is given in quotient so it will be 1 by s so your Laplace transform of y function will be s divided by s square minus 1 you can write it as s s plus 1 s minus 1 so b option is correct any doubt in this question ok solve this question think this is the last question after that there is one more question which is just property based solve this question uh, your Laplace transform is given in this question. Your Fs is given S plus 3 divided by S plus 1 S plus 2. Ok, firstly whenever you, uh, whenever you have to take the inverse what we do, we firstly con uh, take the partial fraction of this fraction. So, you can write it as S plus 1. We will put minus 1 here, minus 1 here by 2 it will be 2 minus 1 upon s plus 2 so this will be your partial fraction now we will take Laplace inverse of both side it will be L inverse fs will be ft and L inverse 2 upon s plus 1 will be 2 e to the power minus t minus e to the power minus 2t this is your ft what are they asking they are asking you f0 now we will put the value of t as 0 
so your option will be 2 minus 1 that will be 1 so your option ma'am how, how did you do parcel fetch sir something like that so, and then you multiply the side and then you solve this equation for when it is just two here what uh, one shortcut that I know cover uh, uh, from this you will get s is equals to minus one okay from this when you'll put uh, this equals to zero it will be s is equals to minus one what you have to do cover this one and put minus one here and minus one here you'll put minus one here it will be minus one plus three minus two here minus 1 plus 2 will be minus 1 this will cancel so 2 will be the value of a here so here you will write 2 then the other one for the s plus 2 what I do I covered this one and then I put s is equals to minus 2 in these two so when you will put s is equals to minus 2 in these two this will be minus 2 plus 3 1 this will be minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 so then I put minus 1 here this is one shortcut to solve this kind of partial fraction Otherwise, uh, you have to go with the longer way, like you have to uh, assume AX plus B or if it's a square, you have to take multiple uh, coefficient A, B, C, D like that. Thank you. This is just a property wise question. Tell me the answer of this question. just property don't read all this what here he is telling you the definition of direct delta function that we have seen okay then what uh, what is saying it is asking the Laplace transform of direct delta suppose if you uh, don't remember that formula of Laplace transform which is L of F T is integration zero to if you remember this and you don't remember the direct property what is the Laplace tra uh, transform of direct delta you integrate this first to this function then this function you will get the answer they have given they might have given some boundary condition also otherwise what you have to do you just directly put the answer that we have learned Laplace transform of a direct delta function will be e to the power minus as and Laplace transform of a unit step function will be e to the power minus a s by s ok so uh, we have covered all the question that are being asked in gate from this topic uh, uh, some topics which are left like how to solve the heat equation and wave equation with the Laplace transform and uh, we need to practice lots of question on, on Laplace transform that we will do in next session uh, whatever Uh, okay, I will. I will upload uh, by tomorrow. I will upload. Is it okay? Uh, in this uh, drive, this is the drive link. Uh, I have uploaded the recordings of the lectures. Uh, can you? Uh, can any one of you uh, check if this uh, drive link is open for all of you or not? asking permission now.
Thank you, ma'am.